My name is uh, Willem de Vos. I'm a uh, research professor at the University of Helsinki, and I'm supervising research on the human microbiome. And that is actually the collection of all the microbes we have in our, around our body, but are mainly found colonizing our intestinal tract, our gut. What is so fascinating about the gut? Well, the gut is the place where our food meets the body. It is colonized since early life by mainly anaerobic bacteria. In the number of cells and also in the number of genes, possibly 100 to 1,000 fold more than we have, it really exceeds that of our body. So they're very important and they help in digesting our food, uh, they create toxic compounds and produce goodies like uh, vitamins and other health promoting compounds. And very importantly, they talk to us. They communicate with us with our liver, with our lungs, our skin, but also even our brain. They talk to our brain, which is quite a fascinating experience. So the microbes in our guts are really important. They're affecting our health and we try to understand how that really works and how we can improve our health. Uh, which have been the most important discoveries in this field so far? Firstly, we showed that we have and always thousands of people that you and me were different. And we have a personalized microbiome, so a personalized composition of our microbes. It develops in early life, but it's stable and resilient in adults. Secondly, we provided support for the notion that early life colonization has an impact on later life health. We studied Finnish babies that used a lot of specific antibiotics and showed they had an altered microbiome correlating to overweight and also later risk of asthma. In the third place, we could show that in some cases, bugs are better than drugs. We uh, saw, found we could cure diseases like recurrent Clostridium difficile infections, but also recently metabolic syndrome linked to type 2 diabetes. And interestingly, we have uh, also published that certain immune therapies, for instance for IBD, require specific gut microbes to be effective. What is the ongoing or future research trying to solve? Well, all those discoveries open avenues to modify our gut microbiome with interventions, like those with single microbes or combination of microbes. We already mastered the technology to produce large amounts of those anaerobic bacteria, and in mice trials we have been able to cure diseases. One example is the Akkermansia bacterium that prevents a leaky gut. We also have the first data in human, where you also can find an improvement of metabolic syndrome by microbial therapy. And we look forward to further understanding what really happens in these and other interventions aimed to improve the quality of life. What can we do to take care of our microbes and improve our health? Yeah, that's a good question. I think. Uh, uh, I wouldn't know the answer, that's why we research this whole uh, activity of microbes inside. Um, but as I said, if you want to think about your weight and your health, I think there is no substitute for eating healthy. So fresh food, vegetables, and, um, and uh, uh, we refrain a little bit from, uh, from red meat. Um, and of course, exercise. There is no quick fixes that you can have with your microbiome. You have to take care of that too. So we have to remember that we have this enormous amount of microbes in our gut which talk to us and they do all kind of good things for us. Uh, we already showed that bugs are better than drugs in some cases. So we really have to nurture our microbes and that one thing to remember, you never walk alone. <laughs>